Hello fellow travelers, thank you for joining me for part 2 of this journey. To save your time, I'll move quickly through part 2. I'll start right away. First, align the floating border to the ceiling height. Then place the lower building on top of the floating border. Press confirm. And move the floating border to the right. Adjust the floating border on the right, to the height of the rooftop of the first floor building again. Bring out the tall building this time. Float it. And place a low building on the empty space next to it. Place a tall building in the empty space on the left. Lift the floating boulder again. And align its height with the pillar as shown on the screen. Please float this colorful building you see on the screen above the floating boulder. Float it. After moving the floating boulder to the left, align it with the ceiling height again above that. Place the elongated building in the center. Float it. The same goes for the right side. Center the elongated building on the right, just like the left. Let's continue building up the construction. Lower the floating boulder on the right back down. And then put the desert terrain on top of that. Lift the floating boulder again. After adjusting it well floated. You can probably guess what I'm going to say by now right? So, I'll repeat this one quickly and in the same way. Alright. Next, I'll raise the building barrier a bit more about halfway to the roof. Add a tall building to increase the volume of the structure. To the left similar to before, raise a tall building. Okay, here we have created a building barrier like this. Next, let's also fill in the empty space in the middle of the building. Place a large light fixture in the center. Lock off the backspace with small desert terrain. And place them in order. Take the floating boulder again. And align it a bit lower. And place the other shapes of desert terrains. Creating a central empty space like below. Good. Let's adjust the height of the floating boulder again. Add a small light on top. Just float it centered in the empty space. Now that having completed the building walls, we'll proceed to raise the height of the remaining first floor buildings. First, elevate floating boulder and place the taller building. After moving up a bit, also place the low building. On the side, overlay the taller building and place it. Moving to the right, Place the shorter building there. Next, position the taller building. On what's left behind, place a low building and raise the height a bit more. Then, please raise it to the height you currently see on the screen. And conclude with the high building. There's only one left. Finish by placing a vertically elongated structure. Now we're done with the major structures. Let's take some small decorative elements. First, bring out the trees that match the screen and place them on the floating border. Arrange them on the rooftop that seamlessly blends with the surroundings, just like you see on the screen. And then, bring out the palm trees and other plants, and arrange them as shown on the screen. It's repeating the same approach as in part 1. Since I'm repeating the process of syncing decorations as before, so I'll just show you the result briefly, and I'll move on quickly. Once you've submerged the palm trees like this, pick up the entire set and move to the intersection. 
and place the palm trees at the corners of the boundary line. On the left side, place them in a facing to the right side. Store all the remaining trees. Turn around once. Place the decorations in order, just like on the screen. Once the rooftop is finished, proceed to decorate the lower road area in order. Oh, come to think of it, I missed the most important thing. Bring out the warp point and place it on top of the floating boulder. I'll put the warp point behind the door, adjust the height correctly and just float it there. Remove the floating boulder and store it again. Lastly, I'll create a balcony. I'm going to create the balcony floor using wooden planks. Bring out four of them, as shown on the screen. First, connect two wooden planks between the pillars. And, place the remaining wooden planks to fill the gaps between the house. Turn the screen around one more time. Place the fences on top of the wooden planks. Concludes the construction of all the housing. To all the travelers who have watched, thank you for your time. And for all of you who have worked hard, I've prepared a video for you at the end. Alright, let's get started. I hope you enjoy the video while admiring the beautiful scenes of Candice. Welcome, weary traveler from afar. Nights in the desert are cruel. You should rest here tonight. Sleep soundly and know that I am watching over you. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the moon and its darker side. I can feel the gravity The forces pull between you and me Yes, it's true, I'm falling hard for you But I won't rush this love I can wait even if it's hard to take One moment is enough I will be standing here right Stand